Hey everybody, welcome to our Tuesday team training. That's triple T. I think I did that three times, uh, triple T. So this is our first official training of 2022. This might be the first training in general that I've done in 2022. We're already 11 days in and I've already forgotten what's happened. Um, but if you're watching this and you don't know who I am, my name is Melina Dixon. I am an executive manager with Pink Zebra Home, and I'm the team leader of the coolest and cutest team in the company. We are the Sprinkle Divas. And so in 2022 and beyond, our training schedule is the second and fourth Tuesday of the month. We're going to hop on Zoom and we're going to um, share lots of fabulous nuggets and just um, ideas to help everybody have an amazing business in 2022. I know I'm planning for a super awesome, amazing business this year. I've got some really big goals and I'm excited to achieve them. And so um, it doesn't look like we have any guests on, so I'm just gonna keep it moving. Um, the normal format would be for the first 10 to 15 minutes to be like a guest opportunity event. So feel free. Um, in two weeks when we do this again to invite guests to join us. And um, I'll share a little bit of information about, you know, life as a pink zebra consultant. We'll let them ask questions and take it from there. So since we don't have any guests, I'm going to go ahead and move to um, the next part of the agenda, which is really just to reflect on 2021. So I wanted to ask you a couple questions and I will gladly answer these questions um, for you guys from my perspective. So the first is, um, who did you meet this year that you wouldn't have met otherwise without your business? So when I think back on 2021, um, I'm trying to think of who I met that I had not met before. Um, so a couple of people come to mind, um, but you know, meeting someone in 2022 doesn't necessarily have to be meeting face to face. I definitely had a ton of new customers come my way through Facebook parties and through referrals, which is really awesome. Um, but one person that I got to actually meet in real life, uh, that I probably would not have met if not for pink zebra, uh, and hopefully I don't embarrass them, but it's Michelle Cullison who's on our team. Um, so I did get to meet Michelle. We had a uh, we had a lunch in May. We met up at the Cracker Barrel in I think we were in Rock Hill, South Carolina. That was super fun. Um, and we had lunch, and then we ended up having like I don't know what kind of dessert we got. We either got dessert or we got like really fun frozen coffees or something to go. I don't remember, but. That was a super fun day. We were coming off of, you know, the big team promotions. Um, and so getting a few of us together for lunch was super, super cool. And that's something I want to do more of. Um, I definitely want to travel more. I talk to Jason about this all the time that when, when we're able to, um, we want to travel more and visit with the team. So more to come on that. Okay. I have another question that I wanted to ask and answer. So the next question I'm asking you is what was the most fun you had this year in your business? Was it a trip? Was it a party? Um, and then what can you do to make the less fun parts of your business more fun? Isn't that the million dollar question? Um, I think that See, this is, this is tough for me. There, I really have two answers. So um, it was really awesome to get to travel last April to Aruba with Jason and have that amazing incentive trip. We desperately needed to like get out of town and I'm so grateful that that was able to happen. But really the, <laughs> I think the most fun that I had um, in 2021 was probably at reunion. I, um, I got to spend time with a few Sprinkle Diva team members. Um, I do 
remember laughing till I cried on more than one occasion. So that was super fun. So really it's all about just like, for me <laughs> being with people, um, this being at home in this little box is really just doesn't really work for my personality. I need to be around people. And uh, if you don't know, I just got back from Houston, Texas. I was there last Thursday through Saturday for um, like a leader led conference that my upline and another director um, put together and it's called Be the Change. And so that was a really great opportunity to be with people. Um, but yeah, reunion, I think reunion's got to take the cake. I think, but that Aruba trip, close second. All right, and then one more. Okay. Um, ooh, these are really good questions. I'm gonna have to share all of these with y'all. <laughs> Um, okay. And I don't know that I'm gonna be able to answer this one. Um, but maybe you'll be, maybe you'll have better luck answering it. But the question is because of your business, who were you able to help that made an impact? And then who would you like to help in 2022? So yeah, that's a, that's a tough question for me to answer. Um, I like to think that I've helped a lot of you guys, um, and hopefully that help has made an impact, even if it's small, Hey, it, it doesn't matter how big, um, but yeah, beyond that, I'm not, I'm not really sure how I'd answer that one, but I'd be really curious to know how you would answer it. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, these questions are super awesome. And it's nice like to just sit and think about, you know, 2021 or just think about the past year in general, no matter what time it is. We'll do this again next year. We'll think about 2022. Um, but 2021 was was super challenging. Um, in some ways it was harder than 2020, believe it or not. Um, but I just watched <clears throat> So much amazing stuff happened with this team. I watched, um, we, we came together and worked towards a pretty big goal. Becoming an executive manager team is a really big deal. And now we are becoming a director team, which is even bigger. And I don't know if you know this, this is a pretty cool perk of being a director team. Um, I will actually be invited to a special Facebook group called Top to Top, and it's for directors and above. And really, I'm going to have a direct line to home office, which means that your ideas, your feedback, your suggestions, while you can send all those to ideas and feedback, you can also share them with me, and I can get them in front of home office, specifically our co-founder and CEO, Tom Gaines. So that's really cool. <clears throat> and the other thing that's really cool just about the promotion in general is just all the, um, all the promotions and all the, the zebra power. I don't want to say manpower because we're not men, but you know, the, you know, the word, um, just all the zebra power it's going to take for us to accomplish that goal. So it involves selling. So every single person on this team, whether you want to be a part of like, whether you want to move up right now or not, you are still contributing to our um, director team goal. Every single dollar of sales volume matters. So that's super cool. But then those of you who have the goal to move up this year, that makes an even greater impact on our promotion. So it's all really cool. I don't know if anyone else is as excited as I am. Um, but I'm pretty stinking excited. And I'm just I think more than anything, I'm just excited to see what you all accomplish this year because um, I had, you know, a couple weeks to like rest, relax and recharge. And I'm coming back with a new focus. Um, I think even a new confidence that maybe I was struggling with, but I'm excited about what's to come. I'm excited for the new catalog. I'm excited for all the 
you know, promotions, like not promotion promotions, but like the promotional bundles, all those fun things that we have to look forward to and all the opportunities we have to share Pink Zebra, whether it's the products or whether it's the business opportunity, it's going to be a really exciting year, really exciting. And I hope that you can feel that. Um, and now real quick, I'm about to wrap it up, which is kind of Christmas miracle, but I, w I just wanted to talk to you. Um, if you have been on the struggle bus, I want to talk directly to you. Um, I can relate, been there <laughs> more than just once. And, um, you know, I know that um, there's a lot going on. We all have lives and sometimes it's, um, it can really like, it can, things can weigh us down. Things can stop us in our tracks. Um, and maybe up until this point, you're not really happy with, with what you've done in your business. I've definitely been in that place before. And I want to encourage you to number one, like the past is the past. <laughs> um, number two, you got to give yourself some grace. We're humans. It's tough being a human, I think. <laughs> uh, we are, for a lot of us, we have been home. That's tough. That I, I mean, I did go pick up dinner tonight, but <laughs> it's not the same. Walking in a restaurant, picking up food and walking out is not what I would consider uh, a super social activity. But, you know, there's all, there's, for me, I know there's plenty of things that, that I let hold myself back in 2021. And I just want to tell you that you're not alone and that you can do anything that you set your mind to. Um, you're going to have to um, build back that confidence. Maybe you're going to have to figure out um, how to find motivation. You might have to really dig deep and think about why you're doing this in the first place. Um, I'm often in situations where I have to remind myself why I'm doing this and why, um, why I won't quit. Um, and so dig deep, remember why you, why you started or what it is that this business is going to give you. Find some words of encouragement, either in books or music or videos. Feed your brain every day with something positive and sit down and goal set. But once you have your goals, break them down into some bite-sized pieces. Because I know for me, if I feel like I've been on the struggle bus, sometimes it's really hard to let myself off. But I need... I need to find my confidence. And I do that by accomplishing small things. So if you're coming back from a hiatus, your, your um, challenge to yourself to start building back some of that confidence and getting back in a rhythm and a groove might just be to go sell $50 to somebody. Um, I know that Now's a really great opportunity for last chance parties. February will be an even better time for parties. I mean, who doesn't love a new catalog? I'm so excited for that. Um, but just take, um, take whatever steps you need to take right now to get yourself in the right frame of mind, get clear on, um, on what you're working towards, why you're even in Pink Zebra, and reach out, absolutely reach out if you need help. There's so many resources on, you know, our team group, in back office, on YouTube in general, so many resources to help you in any area where you feel like you might be lacking. And then of course, you know, We've got our group for support and encouragement. So this is going to be a really special year. Like 11 and a half months from now, 
while we're taking our, our week off between Christmas and New Year's, <laughs> um, we're going to look back on 2022. And for me, I know that I'm going to be in such a different place from where I started. And I'd love it if you joined me. Everything is possible in 2022. All right. Well, that's all I got for you. I hope that this video was helpful, um, this training tonight. And I look forward to seeing you next time. We have our Tuesday team training. Bye, guys.